Ladies. Okay. Ladies. <laughs> everyone welcome back to my channel so this video is almost like continuing on with my hashtag fierce aging series but it's not so i did four videos in march i did makeup on women from 50s to 80s you requested it i listened i put it out there we all had so much fun it was really exciting and it was very different for my channel so now I have been showcasing from your requests. I showcased two women from Cuba. I actually haven't released the mother's video yet. That's coming up soon. Um, and I had, I was thinking, I was just sitting around on the couch watching Real Housewives of Beverly Hills the other day. And I was thinking, you know what, who would be really great to be on my channel that's unapologetic, that's bold, that's fierce, that is a woman that has history with me. And the first name that came up was Gwendolyn Osborne Smith. Now you might, recognize that name from The Price is Right. She was the longest running woman of color for 12 years in The Price is Right. She's been in numerous movies. She was just recently in General Hospital on the soap opera and she lives out in Los Angeles. So I thought I'm gonna just take it on a whim and text her and say, hey, do you wanna come to South Florida? So I did, she said, yes. I said, let's book everything, get you here and get you on the channel. So we had such a great time. I mean, it was really wonderful because Gwen and I go back to being models at 1920 Gwen was a single mom she had a two-year-old and we we just clicked and we have very different personalities we're very opposite and we supported each other you know through the fact that we talk about it in the videos coming up that Gwendolyn like basically was like let's be you know I work at this restaurant you can work there we'll cover each other and so I became a waitress <laughs> which was not really I was not good at it. And that is, I, I fully admit that I was not a good waitress. I tried, but I don't know why it was so difficult. But anyway, I wasn't the best waitress. And, you know, we just share with you skincare and makeup and just talking as women over 40 aging and how we feel as models with the pressure of age and how we were the it girls as in age. And then now in our 40s, it's like, where do we have a place? Every magazine is 14, 15, 16 year olds. And it's very different for us on our perspective. So we share a bunch of this with you. I have a couple different videos that will be released in the next couple of weeks. I hope you enjoy it. And ladies, let's get this beauty started. All right, so I'm back with Gwen and we're gonna be doing a makeup tutorial. Yeah. Well, it's actually really not a makeup tutorial. It's, if we wanted to, I wanna keep it very like simple and girlfriends chatting. And I wanted Gwen to show you what she uses on a daily basis. So she's gonna do half her face of what she does. Yeah. And then she's gonna use the products that I suggested for her on the right. And so she can see kind of what she feels about them. It's new, introducing you to new products. Something yeah. different. Yeah. So we're gonna start. And I'm pretty much usually, honestly, in my car. <laughs> I use it um, at traffic lights when I'm stopped, so I'm safe. Um, and so I'm, I'm, I do a quick thing. Now I'm gonna start with the moisturizer that you recommended right. from Ever. And um, because yeah. it has the SPF 32, yes. so I figured the foundation... So we're going to put that on all over. I don't think your foundation has SPF, that's why. No, my foundation doesn't. So my foundation that I do use, if I do use, is um, Armani. And, um, oh, this feels really good. Ta -da. A it's slight, nice, it gives you a little... Slight little shimmer or something, right? Like a, a little reflect. Yep. Yeah, like a brightening. Okay, nice. Okay, and so I... I'm gonna just put on my um, concealer because honestly, I just use concealer, and this is um, a new one I found from Too Faced called uh, Born This Way. It's called Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. Yeah, they've really big into the sculpting. I know that Tarte has sculpting also, and I know that the foundation was really nice too. Wow, I did a video on that before. So I just I just find my little areas and dots, and definitely under the eye. What what uh, color is this? Cookie. Cookie. That's cute. It is cute. I didn't even realize. I'm sweet like a cookie. You didn't even never realize the color. I didn't. I was just like, this color works. Whatever it's called, we're buying that. Um, so yeah, I just kind of make sure to blend it all the way down because you don't want to have that that line, you know, of, of concealer. So and and I always go into the corner of my eye. Um, couple little blemishes. Blend that in. So that's that done. Boom. Okay, so you kind of spread it around your face. I do. Okay, so you're kind of doing a, a sheer veil of concealer first mm -hmm. yeah. on your face before you do your, do your foundation, okay. Right, and then I brush my eyebrows. Boom, boom, boom. 
Now, if I really want to be fancy, I'll put a little bit of color in my eyebrows. And I always focus on literally like the bottom part of the eyebrows because, and then I stroke up. I never, because you never want to be like, you never want to have like a block eyebrow. Um, I know there's been a lot of block eyebrows out there. That's not natural looking. <laughs> you don't want that, okay? You want to have an eyebrow that just looks like it naturally is shaped the way that you make it. So without it looking like you made it that way. So, so now, when, did you have to do your makeup for The Price is Right? No, we have makeup artists. Oh, you do? And it's very heavy makeup on te television because the lights are so bright. Right. You know, and then we have huge eyelashes and everything. Um, so no, I, I never did my own makeup. But for runway and all of the jobs, a lot of the jobs that we did, we mm -hmm. did have to do. Yep. Now, if I want to, can, um, to, what am I trying to say? Make sure that I keep in all of the concealer. Mm -hmm. What is that called? You're gonna powder now? Yeah, should I not powder now? No, because you're gonna put on your foundation, right? Was I gonna put my foundation on? I wasn't gonna put my foundation on. Oh, you weren't? On. Do you want me to? No, I didn't know what you were doing. No, okay. I wasn't gonna put it on because that's, fine, then. that's not powder. my everyday thing. Okay, so, okay this is perfect. my everyday. And this is the quick way of how I do things. And what are you using? That's Jane Iredell? This is Jane Iredell. Okay. Yeah. What color is it? I don't know. <laughs> When doesn't know? When doesn't know what color she uses? Let's no. see. Hmm. That's weird. I don't even. Of know. course, I knew when I was in the store. It's called teak wood. Yeah. You have some interesting names to your products. I know teak wood and teak wood is very different teak wood from, and from cookie. cookie. Cookie was a lot cuter sounding, wasn't I know. it? No. Um, and then I have a Chanel bronzer, and I really like the way that it like. It's cute packaging, like it keeps it all inside. And you're and definitely pan. Show show them what it looks like. What? Your your pan now. My this? Yeah. Oh. See? <laughs> Can they see it? Okay, you wanna replace it when it gets down to pan because Gwen is not getting the full benefit of this color because it has been used and abused. So when you get down to it, it's fine, but this is a really good thing because you wanna have it fresh. Like you want the product to be fresh. Yeah. And not, you know, because you're like going. Yeah. Yeah. Me in the pan. Yeah. <laughs> We're having fun here. <laughs> I know she's going to kill me and be like, okay. what are you talking about not my pan for? Oh, that's fine. <laughs> we all got to learn, right? Who knew about the pan rule? <laughs> I mean, I'm just like, as long as there's a little bit in there, I can get it and put it on my face. We're good to go. So This I'm is exactly our personalities, too, <laughs> where it's like, and we'll talk about a little bit of like our modeling days of just how intense I was and how I was like, I would be like, Gwendolyn, no, you can't do it like that. And she's like, whatever, it's fine. And I was <laughs> we'll like, work it out. Yeah. So, yeah, I am definitely very easygoing. So I've, I've done like here's my cheek I'll, I'll go over it a couple times and I kind of just do a C shape um, right which is nice that is yeah. a really great trick because okay. you're creating that sculpting when yeah. you do that so you can come up from the temple right go around here and you can even come down like a backwards three Ooh, let's do that let's and do a on three. your jawline so you get a little bit more sculpting on that jawline mm, let's do some sculpting here because you know when you start getting in your 40s you start losing that little area you're like where did my chin and neck <laughs> go you know, it's they're so awful. blending together <laughs> it's so true it's so true oh my gosh. so yeah so that's that and then oh my little becca highlighter so this is her and she's tiny and what I color like are you th i think you said it was opal this is opal okay. yes and um i just will use my finger mm -hmm. and i'll just I, okay so listen as you get older you can't put this highlighter too close to your eyes because that's where the lines are and you're literally just highlighting here's my <laughs> lines so you don't want that so I, I put it a little lower so it's just still on the cheekbone you know but it's just under yeah. and over the right spot beautiful because it gives that a it gives a little pop to the skin i love that and then you know when i don't have a pimple on my nose i will put a little bit on the on the tip of my nose but right now i do so i wouldn't normally do that right. but that does give you a nice little highlight for your nose that's and, nice and i'll do that you know you can use that too just at the cu cupid's bow right here you want oh, a, a little a little highlight hey hi hi cupid's bow See? Yeah. That's nice. And also right now I'm loving this um, Lano, Lano Lips. Yeah. I introduced her to the Lano Lips yeah. because I'm obsessed with them. And I have been for years. And I did do, I was using Rosebud Self. Yeah. That's what you use. Yes. And I told her, you have to try this. So I brought it into the studio and it's And great. I've literally put it on. It's been on for about 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. And it's still really shiny. shiny. And, 
Yeah, or I will, if you know, I really feel like going to town, I will put on a nude lip liner. And uh, this one is, what is, I don't even oh, know what that's called. That's, oh, it's Huda uh, Beauty? Yeah, it's, it's Huda Beauty and it is, um, what color is it? Bombshell. Bombshell. So. You only can yeah. do half. Okay, can I do half? This side of my face. It's kind of hard to tell. Cause well, it'll be interesting to see what the what the, what the new lip liner looks like with that, maybe. Or maybe the organza one. Oh. Do you put anything on your eyelid? No, I don't. Okay, well, that's good. I mean, Sometimes big... I will just put some of the Becca, like, I'll put it in um, on the eyebrow. Mm -hmm. And I'll just highlight right there and a little bit underneath there. That's it. So very simple routine. Very yeah, simple. you're not you're not doing a lot. So we'll just so we'll, we'll just introduce you to some new product and just to see what you think. You know yeah. why not? Because you don't use a lot. No. So I'm just giving her some of my product. I have Dr. Pericone, the new, the no makeup makeup, the foundation that just reformulated. I wanted to see what it looked like on your skin because it's a little bit darker. Sure. And um, so let's see. The other side. Yeah. So you can or you can use your concealer if you want to. Oh, really? Or do you want to just use the... No, let's... Oh, you mean for under eye? Mm. No, let's let's see how good Dr. Pericone is, yeah? Let me see. I mean, pretty good so far. So you want to be able to see the skin through, and that's yeah. the whole idea of, like, the no makeup makeup, which is really nice. It's a serum formulation. I really like serum formulations because it feels light, especially during, like, the summer when it's, mm -hmm. like, really hot. Mm -hmm. um, you guys get cool nights, though. We so do. That's what's, we do that's nice. Cool we don't get cool nights here. Yeah, like, the good thing about the cool nights is that, you know, you put makeup on and, and you do your hair, <laughs> and it kind of stays that yeah. way. <laughs> yeah, we went to dry bar last night, and we both oh we were, like, so excited. Gosh. And then we walked out, we both looked at each other, and we go. It's going to be done. <sighs> Frizz is going to happen in a minute. Like, you know what? Um, Miami, we love you, but not for the hair and makeup. No. Yeah. It's funny because I was like, uh, Gwen, I'm going to look like a Q-tip. She's like, what? Yeah. I said, just wait. I'm like, my hair, like, literally. And she didn't, so I don't know what she's saying. <laughs> she just probably felt like it, but she didn't. Does she look like a Q-tip to you guys? No, she, she doesn't. Look at her, this hair and makeup. Well, she's, I just flat ironed it this morning because it was, like, yeah, it was a little fluffy. Well, I have to say I really fluffy. like this foundation. Yeah, it looks pretty because I can see your skin through it. Yeah. A little bit very, of illumination, too. Very natural looking. Yeah, and it, and it was good coverage, and I don't even have the concealer on. But let's put concealer on just to be fair, okay? Right? So you're going to put it over, though. I'm just going to put it over. That's I know fine. you would normally put it on first, but here for the eye You area. know what, though? There's really no rules. If that works oh, really? for you, then oh, yeah, you can do that. That's not, yeah. the, the no rules rule. I know. See, I'm really breaking out. You are. Look at what I'm doing to her, you guys. Oh. She is becoming really easygoing <laughs> in, like, five, <laughs> ten minutes. Amazing. Okay. I try. Great. All right. So, right. Very pretty. I do see a difference already in one side of my face. Yeah. It is a little bit more like dewy mm -hmm. and. Yeah. yeah. But you did put powder on. I mean, do you want to put okay, powder on let's over put this? The powder on. This is true. Let's be really fair. It's my powder, though. Is that okay? So. So use your teak wood. Okay. I mean, we, since we did that other side and we want to just kind of. Make sure that we stay. Yeah. Equal. To see what it looks like. But maybe we'll see this kind of like illuminating kind of dewy glow, yeah, coming through. It still is. Yeah. I have to say it still is. I know, I like it. Okay. All right, so Next. I am going to have her try my Classic Beach palette because she has multiple different containers, you know, of the highlighter and the, the, the bronzer. So I put everything in one palette and I have a little peachy blush that you don't, you haven't put on any blush. So no. we'll see, we'll see what you think. We have a highlighter, mm -hmm. the matte bronzer, Pretty similar to the Chanel. Can't really tell though because we see a lot of um, pan there. Yeah. <laughs> She's and then, gonna get on me about this. <laughs> I'm so, buying a new Chanel blush today. Okay. All right. All right. Also, ladies, I wanted to show you we did sell out of the last brush kit, so I have a new brush kit coming that is travel friendly. How cute is that? Comes out in September. I'm very excited about it. Or maybe it could be August. So I curated my brushes that I wanted you to use with specific reasons why I picked what brushes to include into my um, little Your kit every here. Every day, right? Yeah, and Your I showed you, I saw that you oh, had a spoolie. The best. I cannot live without having an eyebrow spoolie yeah. to brush my brows. So when I saw that Gwen had hers, I was like, yes, this comes in this kit. Gotta have that. So there's a foundation brush, there's a blush brush, and then you have three really great eyeshadow brushes here. So um, we were going through, what was I gonna just give you? Blush. Oh, right. All right, so here you go. Okay. And you can use that same brush for everything. You just so, want to. So here's the palette. 
you guys. And so which one do you say I use first? You use the bronzer first. Okay. And do the same three? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to do the three. I like it. Right. I wasn't sure what, like, what, how it was going to translate compared to the other one. Actually, it's really pretty. It is really pretty. What? Yeah, we didn't trust any product out before we did this. The, we were we like, are, let's we, just this do is it. it. You guys, you're coming on this exploration with us. We're all together in this little boat of what works and what doesn't. So I'm, I like it. It's good. It's quite pretty. Yeah. That's good. Um, all right, so then next, then look at me, I'm just going to town. <laughs> just keep going, <laughs> just <good>. keep going. <laughs> so you can do the middle color, which is the blush. Okay, and where should I apply that? Well, do you like to have blush on, on the apples of the cheeks sweeping up? Yes. Or do you like a cream blush instead? Um, whatever you think, but I would normally do the apples of the cheeks and then sweep up. Okay, so do that with the... With the okay, um, so we're like going to go up, yep. up, 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 and you just... Just once, or yeah, it depends on how much you want you want to see. Okay, it has a little bit of a gold metallic to it, so it's yeah. going to give you a sheen, but you don't want too much. Okay. All so right. So first. now the highlighter. I would love to okay. see what you think about the highlighter. And then once again, I would just put the highlighter a little bit lower than the eye area. You can work about it with right. your hands too. Yeah. Okay. It's pretty. Just work it in just a little bit. You don't want to have any. I think it's that brush is a little much, but you can use your finger. Okay. But yeah, no. Let me see from the other side. What do you think about that highlighter? I like it. I mean, compared to your Becca one, though. I still like my Becca one. Yeah, I but think what it looks I pretty. do like on this on this side is this the blush, the blush one that's mm -hmm. from the middle. I feel like that kind of blends it all together. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, it's yeah. pretty. It's just soft. Yeah, not too much. You're not adding too much color. Right. All right. So. Now you didn't do anything on your eyes, but no. I have two palettes that I pulled out for Gwen, the Naked palette and the Effortless. Well, to be fair, I could probably use one of these to put on my eyebrow, because I did do that on the other side. Yeah, that's true. With the Becca, so let's do that over here too. And then I thought that, um, I don't know, this the Effortless has like a little bit of a rosy gold here. Mm -hmm. I think this would look pretty just use, using your finger and just swiping it on your lid, because it's like okay. a fast kind of The middle one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just see what it looks like. Uh, just from from the beginning to yep. all the way across. Yep. Okay, let's do a full sweep, you guys. We're going for it. My I, my eyelids don't see much eyeshadow. I'll just tell you that. So this is fun. I just want to see what, what it would look like if you just Ooh. highlight a little bit, just a little bit. It's no pretty. brush, no nothing, no fuss. You don't no. have to do anything. Just use your finger. I mean, I'm thinking about you, like in the, in car, the car and out yeah. in the in the traffic, sitting there, yeah. and being like, all right, yeah. let me try this. Heading to auditions and, and basketball tournaments and <laughs> dance auditions and yeah. But you know what's so nice about this is that you don't, if you're not using the brush, you don't have a lot of fallout on the lashes because Gwen does have lash extensions on. So, yes. you know? Yeah. All right, so now try on the, just a nude pencil. This okay. is waterproof nude. Okay, mechanical. and who makes this? I do. This is yours. This is Fresh Beauty Studio, you guys. And then I have well, you have an option. We can do the lip plumping clear because Gwen doesn't wear really anything but this, you know, um, balms on her lip. Yeah. Or we could do the embrace, which is what I have on now that you liked. I did. And see what it looks like. And just put it over your whole lip. I okay. mean, it's fine. How, what does that look like compared to the other lip liner that you normally use? Um, it applied a lot easier. I will say that. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a little darker. Yeah, it's think? a little bit darker. Yeah. It's a little bit I darker. I mean, it's still pretty. I'm... I would still use this daytime or nighttime. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty. Mm -hmm. It's pretty neutral for your lip, which is mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. But you do need, I mean, when we age over 40, I really think that a lip liner is like a necessity to I give agree. you that definition. That, yes, you have to, or else we like lose up. We do. All right, so just use the embrace and see what you think since you've already used clear forever. And let's go for it because um, we're going to go over the whole lip. I can't open it. Can you? Okay, yeah. I need her, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Such a good pair. I open your lip gloss. <laughs> okay. So this is long lasting. I actually sent Gwen, I, we were talking about it. I was like, I sent you lip glosses like seven years ago. She's like, was it that long? She's like, I think it was five. I'm like, I can't, we can't remember Goodness anything. gracious, I know. I can't remember a thing. It's very nice. So I do see a difference now for sure with the color. Oh, with the lip liner, mm -hmm. yes, yeah. I think it's nice. I do too. I think you need a little bit more. I think I do. Yeah. Uh, and of the lip liner, I need to put it on the other side. Yeah, put it on the other side. So I really love that Gwen doesn't use 
that much makeup. So mm -hmm. this was a really fun kind of makeup in a way tutorial yeah. of showing you how she does her face and then doing using this kind of the same kind of simplicity but using other products that she hasn't used and seeing how it translated onto her skin. So hopefully it helps you kind of see how simple someone's makeup can be, busy mom, just working woman, yeah. and then kind of just altering it with just different products, but give, getting that really natural look still, but just tweaking it, like just using a little shadow that yeah. just illuminates the lid. Yeah. Nothing major, not like I four mean, or five I mean, if steps. you really wanted to do a little more for the evening, I would probably just t get a little bit of the darker color mm -hmm. and just put it into the edge there in the corner of my eye, mm -hmm. blend that in, mm -hmm. and just, and you can literally still do this very quickly. And, and that's what I love though too about. It. And then I've got like more of a nighttime look, right? Well, and also you could always just take a brush if you needed to like, mm -hmm. just blend it a little bit or whatever if your finger couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. But that's what's really nice about highly pigmented shadows that yeah. you can just go in with your finger and kind of apply it and not feel like, oh, I'm supposed to use brushes or you know, I have to use a brush. Yeah. So it looks super pretty. Yay. I mean, I went a little bit far up on this side right here, so. That's all right. Yeah. We just get the brush and. So I think it looks fun. I think it was a little bit fun to do something a little bit different and kind of show you someone putting on their makeup and getting a little bit of expert advice. I feel pretty. I feel pretty. <laughs> <laughs> and so until my next video, I'll see you later. Bye.